All right, here we go. So it seemed to cut my last video clip off there. So this will be the one that we record. On our eighth lap, we're finally getting the hang of this track. Just under a minute 50 is Brian's time. 149.96, I think he said. I've been as close as a minute 50.052, according to the display. So we got to shave about a second, half a second off of that. Then I can get out of this track, because this is... Oh, this is quite daunting to roll this Jaguar XJ around here. Just feels big, and this is a narrow track. And it's not real... Oh! <laughs> well, that's an expensive transmission to leave out the track behind me. Smooth, smooth, smooth. That's what. Well, that's the secret here, I think. Wow. I don't like this blind corner there. The S is now just nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Man, not the greatest time though. I'll have to uh, tack it a bit more on this one. Oh, easy. All right. Saying I got potential for 148.9, that, that'll do it if I can not get too uh, greedy here. Let's get around here, okay? You know, maybe these Jaguars are driven better as automatics. I'm having trouble keeping the revs right. That was going to be a good lap, but took that corner too fast. So. Another write off. All right, getting back on track. <clears throat> this will be my 10th lap coming up, so I'll just do one more here and then concede defeat. Or concede victory or whatever you concede. And get out of this Jaguar. And back to career mode in my Formula Renault. Alright, one more lap. Let's make it count. See what we can do. So where we lost it last time. Got to get around this corner. Man, that just... Ah. Alright, did it.
Alright, this is it. Ah, it might have beat you, Brian. I don't know. One, 